How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going diving with my friend Roy off of his boat, the Guava Jelly. You guys probably know Roy. He's 808 Roy Boy on Instagram. I'll leave that in the in the description below. He's an absolute legend, um, and he's kind enough to let me go on his boat today, take us out to some spots, and we're also going to be joined by my friend Hunter. You guys know him, and we're also going to be joined by my friend David. Uh, he's also on YouTube and on Instagram. I'll leave everything in in the description. Go check these guys out. Um, they're gonna be my dive partners for today and special shout out to Roy for taking me out on his boat I really appreciate it and yeah hopefully we get out there and slay some fish before the video starts remember if you guys enjoy like that like the video subscribe it really helps me out a lot it helps out the channel but let's get into it All right, here we go, guys. So I started recording late, but I saw an alaihi in this hole. So I just unloaded one of my bands and then lined up on him, just kind of tracking him. They kind of do this back and forth motion. Then boom, nice and easy. Good size alaihi, I'll pull him out in a second. But first fish of the dive, I was just trying to get in some target practice just in case we ran into something big like in Lua or something. And it would be important for me to stone it. So I wanted to make sure my aim was at least a little bit there. This was not a good shot, but um, it was one banded. So a little bit, the spear would fly out a little bit slower. So, but I kind of, I noticed that I've been aiming a little bit low. And as you can see there, so I was just trying to make sure that, or not make sure, but get my aim on track before we headed over to the uh, big fish zone. I actually ended up shooting another alaihi, as you can see right there. I ended up giving these alaihi to Roy because he had a, a big fish dinner at his house after this with some family. And so I gave him two of the those two alaihis. This one was a little bit bigger. And again, or I shot with one band. I wasn't recording though when I took the shot, but. So this one, I was kind of getting more comfortable or getting my aim down. Cause if you can see, it's still a little low but it is a little bit also a little bit higher um so a little bit behind as well but on this drop i actually saw a big roy in a hole and that, those guys are like the perfect target practice because they just kind of sit there so once again one band just on my way down trying to see if i can see him i can't see him yet and as I get down to the bottom, I see a big Munu in the hole. You'll see him in a second. And then he just kind of swims out at me right there. Boom, got him. This is probably the biggest Munu I've, I've ever shot. We weighed him after uh, we got out of the out of the water. He ended up being 2.1 pounds, so pretty big one. I'll show him after. I didn't show him to the camera. Here's the big fish zone. I saw a move just cruising underneath me, so I just dropped down nice and slow. And boom. Dive bomb them. Hardly ever do I even try to dive bomb move. I, I don't like taking dive bomb shots uh, because unless you do them all the time, they're pretty low percentage shots. Uh, and especially with move. They usually don't let you um, get over them in the right spot to dive bomb them. So uh, this is a pretty rare case. Uh, this guy was especially calm and kind of just cruising underneath me. He wasn't, he didn't, it was like he didn't even 
see me because I was just swimming around and he came to me. I didn't have to swim over him. Uh, he came underneath me and then I just dropped down and shot him. This guy was 3.8 pounds. So solid move. There's my, there's David over there. Solid move. And then this drop, I just thought it was pretty cool. I saw this big kaku, he's like 10 pounds. So I kind of, I dropped down. Shaking my gun, trying to get his attention, doing squid fingers. And then he turns right there and perfect time to shoot. But I didn't really want to deal with a kaku. Uh, they kind of smell bad. It would just be a lot of meat to deal with, and I already had the mu and the munu, which is more than enough, so I just let him go. I thought it was pretty cool to see him. Alright guys, sorry it's kind of dark. We got home a little late, but got some two really nice fish here. Got the good size mu. That I dive bombed and then this big munu this is probably the biggest one I've ever shot if you look at it compared to my arm hey that's a pretty chunky mono fat too a fat head but yeah good size fish All right, guys, I got the three fish here. Big Joe. Look at that. As big as my entire forearm. We got the good size moo. We got the smaller munu. But we got three fish, but today we're only gonna focus on this one. I'm gonna try a new recipe. Never done it before. I'm gonna try and make fish burgers, sort of. It's sort of a burger. But um, you'll see. But yeah, just gonna get these cleaned up and then see you guys in the kitchen. All right guys, so we have two beautiful moo fillets right here. And you'll notice that they still have the skin on. Uh, I'm not gonna cook them with the skin on, but I'm gonna cut the skin and then I'm gonna use that in our dish and you'll see how in a little bit. But um, yeah, so I'm just gonna get these skin and then I'm gonna take out the pin bones, which is a line of bones that go down here. Basically, I'm gonna cut at a V around the side of this, these bones and then I'm going to pull out the middle and all the all of those little bones should come right out but yeah so I'm going to get to that and then we'll move on to the next step. Alright guys so we've got the first fillet here. This fillet is going to serve as our patty. We're going to put it through some egg wash, flour, and then panko. Fry it up really nice and crispy and then that's going to be the main patty for our burger. So first into the egg wash. Into the flour. Then we're going to go back into the egg wash to the pot. Alright guys, so now I'm going to do something that I've truly never done before. I'm going to take the skin of the mu and I'm going to fry it. It's going to get nice and crispy and then I'm going to cut it up and use it as a topping for the burger.
I already tried it. It's freaking good. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I had an awesome dive, and those Moo Burgers were absolutely delicious. I'm so happy that I tried out this new kind of recipe thing. Um, it came out really, really good, and I'm definitely going to make it again in the future. Uh, shout out to Roy for taking me out on the boat again. Really appreciate it. Wouldn't have been, This video wouldn't have been possible without you. And um, yeah, go check him out on Instagram. Check out Hunter. Check out David. Um, all of those guys, they're all awesome. Super good divers, and um, yeah, Roy's an absolute legend. But anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. I'm going to be signing out. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Shoots.